Hey, Royal with Clear is here. We're at the EEBA conference uh, for energy efficient building. And I've got Lauren with Premier SIP panels. Um, he's got some really cool products or in uh, premier, premier, premier building systems. He's got some really cool products and we got an awesome display to look at here. So Lauren, kind of give us a rundown what you guys got. Yeah. Hey, thanks, Royal. And thanks for, uh, you know, what to do an interview. SIPS is an acronym that stands for Structural Insulated Panels. So it's a, it's a laminated product, EPS foam cores, laminated to OSB skins. There's no studs in a, in a true SIP panel. So they have structural capacities, uniform loading, point load capacities in walls, rack and shear capabilities, axial loads. Roof panels have span capacity. The biggest SIP that we manufacture is eight foot wide by 24 foot in length. Uh, so an, that's, that's an, a big panel. An eight foot wide by 24 foot tall panel. And that's a wall or roof rated system. Yep. Wall wow. or, or floor assembly sometimes. Oh. So depending on the application and what's designed in a project, but yeah, so we can go on a wall, we could go up to pl tall plate heights, you know, and whatever that plate height is 16, 18, 20, 24 foot. In roof applications, you've got span capacity to those panels. They might span from an eave wall all the way up to a ridge beam or yep. something like that. So what kind of, what for roof capacity spanning, I mean, what are you getting in like, you know, here we're in the Northwest, we've got a pretty common 25 to 35 pound roof snow load, except for maybe some of the higher elevations. What are you getting for spans on these SIP panels? Yeah, really good question and fitting for an engineer to ask. Yeah. <laughs> we've got published load design charts that help the design professionals look into things like that. Okay. But on a, on a, like a 30 pound load, we'll, we'll, with the typical 12 or, or 10 inch thickness, we can span up to 14 feet in, in clear span with just raw panel. Wow. And then we, when we get into like being called for the panel to span 18 or 20 foot at those load conditions. We might start seeing an I-beam member, a custom sized I-beam member at okay. four foot on center right. in that roof or floor assembly to accomplish those spans. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. And so then going back to these much larger panels, which obviously if we're spanning 18 or, or even greater, you guys produce all those larger extruded panels in house. Is yep. It, yep. And, and we'll custom fabricate them to the plan. So we create shop drawings from the architectural and structural set. And then those layout drawings go to an independent structural engineer reviewer as well. Okay. So uh, ultimately deliverables, there are engineered stamp set of SIP shop drawings and a calc book. You can go take that with your permit submittal if you need. So where I'm immediately thinking of this application is, you know, we we're working in a lot of, we're seeing a lot more barn dominiums, very large, tall plate height construction. And you know, the, the post frame construction is a very efficient, very efficient construction method in that again you can produce things off site you can truck them in you can construct it very simply but this is a, this is, does that similar thing and you're also getting the entire insulation envelope so you could literally go from a slab to setting trusses really in a matter of a week or so and you have your full insulated envelope 100 percent. yeah and yeah I, and i see in the photos behind you here you've actually got residential and commercial applications which is which is awesome to see so it's, it's a fully universal thing you've got you got a mixed use complex there. You can see like, some of the taller plate heights, you yeah. know, kind of that some, de some jobs get designed to whether or not it includes the parapet sometimes just depends on design and what, what they're calling us to do. Right. This is a three story commercial building where they included the SIPs as the parapets so that yeah. they didn't have to, you know, tie into the roof system and, and back brace right. the parapets. So this is all part of that structural assembly. So this was also a unique commercial job where they utilized the SIPs as the internal floors as well. Oh, very They good. had bar joists spaced at 10 or 10 foot centers or something underneath the SIP floors. Okay. And then they, they wanted to use them because they're big panels. So right. they, the, the picks and sets for that floor assembly. Well, and from an engineering standpoint, so it's seeing the parapets integrated into the SIP panels. So this is actually a very efficient method. Now the, the general layman may not know this, but when the ASC 716 code came out, it tripled or even quintupled the load to a parapet design. And so it forced us, the engineers, to actually try and integrate your parapet system into your wall system and essentially make the stud systems cantilever span. 
So seeing the SIP panels being able to integrate in and be a part of this parapet, especially in something that wouldn't be considered low rise construction is actually an extremely efficient method and an extremely efficient use of the system. I really like seeing that. Here's something else I wanted to point out is mm -hmm. these actually have like electrical and plumbing chase systems already kind of pre cored into the yeah. SIP panel systems. Um, yeah, you'll see here the in the typical wall assembly, you'll have plug and switch height chases that run horizontally throughout that assembly. Okay. So that no matter where your box locations are, right. uh, you're able to, once you access that wall, you can wire that entire wall. There's also vertical chases intermittently throughout too. So if you need to transition from horizontal to vertical, uh, okay. you have that ability to in that wall. That's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. Great stuff you got here. Oh, there's some big old fasteners. Great stuff you got here. This is an awesome exhibit and you got a great display of, of projects and I really appreciate your time. Yeah, Warren. sure. Appreciate it, Ross. Thanks for coming by.